It might sound wild, but some rocks can end your joyful life, and not just by crashing down on your skull. Nature's got a wicked imagination when it comes to taking people out. Lick the wrong mineral, and you're basically writing your own obituary. So before you go out caressing crystals or pocketing pretty stones, maybe take a minute to get educated because the tiniest shimmer might pack a deadly surprise. From radioactive stones you can actually buy off eBay, to dazzling gems laced with lethal arsenic, these are the 15 most dangerous minerals in the world. Number 15. Torbernite. It looks like kryptonite, but it's a lot more real and a lot more dangerous. Torbernite is packed with uranium, which makes it radioactive and anything but harmless. While collectors might be drawn to its deep green glow, there's no getting around the fact that this mineral emits radiation constantly. The risk climbs even higher when it's broken or disturbed, releasing radon gas and radioactive dust that can be inhaled or absorbed. Handling it casually is a terrible idea, yet it's sold online like some novelty item. In reality, close exposure over time can cause serious health issues, especially during extraction when the material is unstable. It's not even rare, torbernite shows up in places like Cornwall, in the UK and Katanga province in the Congo. So yes, that shiny green stone might be sitting in someone's display case, completely unaware that it's gradually harming them. Torbernite doesn't need a dramatic origin story. It's just a dangerous rock, sitting still doing damage anyway. Don't linger around it. Definitely don't keep it close. Number Vierze. Phenocyte. What makes phenocyte unsettling isn't how it looks, it's what it hides. This mineral contains beryllium, an element so toxic that even minimal exposure can trigger serious disease. While it's occasionally found in clear, gem-like formations and sometimes marketed as a metaphysical stone, the danger is very real. Inhaling its dust or even prolonged skin exposure can lead to beryllosis, a disease with symptoms that mimic pneumonia but linger far longer. Some New Age circles hail phenocyte as a high-frequency crystal, claiming it activates the third eye or opens portals to other realms. The truth is far more grounded and hazardous. It's not about vibration or enlightenment, it's about a highly toxic element getting inside your system. The irony of people meditating with a mineral that could trigger irreversible lung disease is as bizarre as it is terrifying. Phenocyte might be rare, but its danger isn't abstract. It's chemical, it's measurable, and it's been known for decades. Handling it like a toy or a trinket, well that's a gamble. Number 13. Orpiment. Bright yellow, almost golden in appearance, orpiment is one of those minerals that tricks you with its beauty. What's inside though is arsenic, and we mean a lot of it. Composed of up to 60% arsenic, this mineral was once used in pigments for its stunning hue. Artists from the Renaissance to ancient Egypt used it to decorate tombs, scrolls, and palaces. It's been found in Tutankhamun's tomb and even smeared across the walls of the Taj Mahal. Caligula reportedly tried smelting massive quantities of it, chasing the myth that it might turn into gold. That didn't work, of course and the fumes were likely lethal. Despite the brilliant color, handling orpiment without serious care can be dangerous. Breaking it down releases arsenic dust, and exposure through skin or air can lead to major toxicity. Its historical value as a pigment doesn't erase the reality. Orpiment is poison in a pretty disguise. And while it's no longer used in art, pieces of it still circulate among collectors, most of whom probably don't know what they're really holding. Number 12. Cinnabar. Cinnabar might be pretty in a rich wine red kind of way but don't get it twisted, this stuff is dangerous. Also known as mercury sulfide, it's been used for centuries to refine elemental mercury and plenty of other questionable purposes. Formed around volcanic seams and alkaline hot springs, cinnabar's history goes way back. Artists used it to make vermilion paint, a bold red that gets deeper the more it's ground. Unfortunately, grinding it also makes it easier to inhale or absorb, which is where things get deadly. In Pompeii, archaeologists found walls coated in cinnabar pigment and even jars of it in paint shops. 
Romans loved the color so much, they used it on statues, walls, and even painted their own bodies during festivals. Today, vermilion still exists, but it's mostly synthetic. The original mercury-laced version, not so much. The ancient world got its brilliance at a steep cost, and some unlucky medieval alchemists probably paid that price with their lives. Art was never safe. Cinnabar just made that fact literal. Number Elf. Quartz. Well, you wouldn't expect danger from something this common. Quartz is just everywhere, inside mountains, riverbeds, and even countertops. It's the second most abundant mineral on Earth. So why is it on this list? Not because of its chemical makeup or radioactivity, but because of the fine dust it produces when cut, ground, or processed. That dust is loaded with silica, and when inhaled it settles into your lungs and stays there. Over time, repeated exposure causes serious health issues like silicosis and lung cancer. This is especially dangerous in industries like mining, glass production, and construction, where workers often face daily contact. While strict safety standards exist now, the risk doesn't disappear. People still suffer from quartz-related illnesses all over the world. It's a quiet threat, the kind you can't see coming until it's too late. For most people, quartz is harmless. But for anyone grinding, carving, or drilling it, each breath could carry a little more poison. It's not dramatic, but it's deadly in slow motion. Number 10. Stibnite. Stibnite looks like it belongs in a sci-fi set, long, sharp crystals with a metallic shine, but it's far from harmless. This toxic mineral is antimony sulfide, and it's been used for everything from ancient eyeliner to fireworks. Ancient civilizations, like the Egyptians, used stibnite to line their eyes with coal. Sounds glamorous, until you realize they were basically smearing poison on their faces. Even today, in some parts of the world, traditional eyeliner still includes toxic minerals like this, or worse, lead sulfide. While modern cosmetic products no longer use stibnite, it still has industrial uses, like in matches and pyrotechnics. Found in small deposits across Europe and the US, stibnite's sharp structure and softness made it easy for people to work with, but also dangerously easy to inhale or absorb. People have been using it for thousands of years, but that doesn't make it safe. It's a slick-looking mineral that just happens to be laced with heavy metals. Number 9. Galena. Galena isn't exactly a mystery. It's been known and mined for centuries. But knowing something doesn't always make it safer. This is the primary source of lead, metallic, heavy, and naturally occurring in large chunks. It's easy to extract, which made it a staple in ancient metallurgy. But the same properties that made galena so useful, also made it hazardous. Lead exposure is toxic, especially with long-term contact or inhalation of dust. Even ancient Egyptians, while applying it as eye makeup, were risking their health without knowing it. The mineral also contains traces of silver, which pushed mining activity in places like Missouri, Kansas, and Wisconsin, where it became the official state mineral. Despite its industrial value, Galena's dangers remain underappreciated. Touching it isn't likely to hurt you. Processing it without protection. Entirely different story. The fumes from smelting, or the fine particles left behind in the air, can slowly lead to lead poisoning. Looks dull on the surface, but Galena's impact has been deeply toxic throughout history. Number 8. Chalcanthite. Chalcanthite is a shocking electric blue mineral that looks great, but it's deadly. It only forms in dry, arid caves, so finding it naturally is rare. It's a copper sulfate mineral and while that makes it beautiful, it also makes it incredibly toxic. You'll see it sold online, often synthetically made, but don't let the visuals fool you. Making synthetic chalcanthite involves messing with copper sulfate solutions, a process dangerous enough that only trained experts should even attempt it. Some crystal enthusiasts swear it calms the mind and helps with meditation, but licking or touching it could land you in the ER. Just brushing against it can irritate your skin, and ingesting it is a serious health threat. Even if you're just admiring it, wash your hands afterward thoroughly. 
The danger is real, and it doesn't care how peaceful you think your crystals are. It might look like magic in mineral form, but this one's more poison than peace. Chalcanthite is a risk dressed up in radiant blue. Number 7. Hydroxylapatite. Closely related to what makes up your bones, hydroxylapatite doesn't seem dangerous at first glance. It even sounds clinical like something you'd find in a medical textbook, but under the wrong circumstances, it becomes a real threat. While it's true that it breaks down into calcium and phosphate, both naturally found in the body, problems begin when too much of it enters your system the wrong way. This usually happens through ingestion or exposure in supplement form, not direct handling. When overdosed or poorly regulated, it can contribute to the formation of kidney stones, hard, sharp crystals that can wreak havoc on your urinary tract. Despite what some fringe health claims might suggest, eating or supplementing with this mineral without medical supervision is a terrible idea. There's nothing mystical about it. It's biology, and biology bites back when overloaded. Just because something mimics a natural structure doesn't mean your body wants more of it. Hydroxylapatite may not kill, but it will make you feel like it's trying to. Number X. Rebeckite. Sometimes known as blue asbestos, this mineral has a serious identity problem. It looks different, but it's just as deadly. Rebeckite can be harder and more rock-like than traditional asbestos, forming in volcanic settings with deep blue or black crystals. It's often found alongside granite and other igneous rocks, especially in regions like Arizona, Colorado, Portugal, and even South Africa. Its most unique claim to fame, the specific kind mined on Ailsa Craig, a Scottish island, is used to make curling stones. Yes, the same sport with sliding stones and frantic broom sweeping. It sounds harmless enough until you remember that blue asbestos, its close cousin is infamous for lung damage and cancer. While the crystal form is denser and less fibrous, it's still part of the same hazardous family. Disturbing it can create fine dust particles that cause irreversible harm when inhaled. Its use in sporting goods adds a strange twist, but don't let that fool you. Rebeckite doesn't have to look fibrous to be lethal, it just needs to break. Number 5. Asbestos. Most people know asbestos is bad news, but here's the real kicker. It's not man-made, it's a naturally occurring mineral. That's right. We didn't invent it, we just found it and decided to stuff it into buildings worldwide. Because asbestos resists heat, corrosion and electricity. It's handy, but not safe. Asbestos is made of delicate fibrous crystals that break apart easily and float through the air. Inhaling that dust, game over. We're talking lung cancer, mesothelioma, asbestosis, the works. It wasn't banned in the UK until 1999. And in the US, still legal in some construction materials. That means millions of homes and buildings still hold this silent killer inside their walls. It doesn't burn. It doesn't rust. It doesn't quit. But it does kill. Slowly. And without warning. So if you're tearing down old drywall or sanding insulation, you might want to think twice. The dust you breathe might be more dangerous than anything else in the room. Number 4. Pyrite. The shine of pyrite has tricked more prospectors than anyone would care to admit. It earned the name Fool's Gold for good reason. Its brassy glint and cubic shape have fooled even seasoned miners. But aside from the embarrassment of mistaking it for gold, pyrite has a more useful side. It was once essential for starting fires when struck, it produces sparks strong enough to ignite kindling. That's actually where its name comes from, drawn from the Greek word for fire, pyros. But while it's not truly gold, pyrite has helped in finding the real stuff. It's often discovered near gold and copper, making it a sign that valuable deposits might be close. What it lacks in value, it makes up for in function. Still, despite the practical uses, pyrite has led countless people down dead ends and empty dreams. A glittering stone with no mercy for hopeful eyes. It's nature's way of saying, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Number 3. Feldspar. Not every threat looks dramatic. Feldspar is everywhere. 
making up over half the Earth's crust, and yet it's far from harmless. As a flux mineral, it's heavily used in the production of ceramics, tiles, and glass. On the surface, that sounds practical, but when processed, it reveals another side. Small amounts of uranium embedded in feldspar can break down into radon gas, a radioactive byproduct that's been tied to lung cancer. In some cases, industrial-grade feldspar contributes to harmful emissions, especially when improperly handled. Though not overtly poisonous, it doesn't need to be. Continuous exposure during mining or refinement makes it a slow-burning risk. Most people won't run into it in harmful ways. But in workplaces without strict protocols, feldspar becomes more than just background material. And while it won't instantly make headlines like arsenic or asbestos, the danger lies in its volume, its presence, and how quietly it operates. Not flashy, not rare, just constantly around, doing damage in silence. Number 2. Fluorite. Fluorite's clean cubic formations and neon bright glow under UV light make it a favorite for collectors. But for something so widely admired, it comes with a long list of chemical complications. While it's mostly made of calcium and fluorine bonded together, the element fluorine on its own is about as toxic as it gets. In this mineral form, it's stabilized, but not entirely harmless. Fluorite's most infamous use, hydrofluoric acid production. That's the acid strong enough to eat through glass and seriously harm human tissue on contact. Beyond the lab, fluorite shows up in the making of ceramics, steel, and even optics like lenses and camera equipment. It's not immediately dangerous to touch, but grinding, heating, or improperly processing it can turn it into a major hazard. Mishandle fluorite in industrial settings, and you're one step away from trouble. Most people think of it as harmless or decorative, but that's only true if you leave it alone. Push it too far, and fluorite reminds you it's chemically loaded. Number 1. Hutchinsonite. Hutchinsonite sounds like something straight out of a villain's lab, and honestly it should stay there. This rare mineral carries a nasty mix of thallium, arsenic, and lead. Each of those is deadly on its own, but combined, it's a chemical nightmare. Thallium in particular is so toxic that even small exposure can cause symptoms like hair loss, nerve damage and organ failure. Hutchinsonite is mostly found in Europe's mountainous ore deposits, and thankfully it's not something you'll randomly stumble across. It forms in very specific geological conditions, but when found, it must be handled under the strictest safety protocols. This is not your average rock, it's not something to collect, polish or store in a display case. One mistake, one careless breath, and you're dealing with one of the most dangerous combinations of elements on Earth. This mineral doesn't just whisper danger, it screams it. Hutchinsonite is the kind of rock that should come with its own hazmat warning. Look, don't touch, touch, and you might not live long enough to regret it. If you've enjoyed this video, like it, share it, and smack that subscribe button for more awesome content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.